Hello guys, welcome back to this video tutorial on RESTful web services. In this video we will see how to configure an Eclipse project to create web services with JAX-RS and JRC implementation. Here we have a new workspace of Eclipse and we now are going to create a new project. Maven project. Ok, Maven archetype quick start. Ok, and now Ok, rest Nemo, our project. Now we have to add the dependencies to the POM file of Maven. You can copy and paste them from this file. You can replace the these dependencies or dependence of a JUnit with a new one. And uh, as you can see, uh, here uh, uh, they are of uh, the Derby JDBC uh, driver, then JAX RS and uh, Jersey. Now we can convert this project into a web project. But uh, before that, uh, we have to um, change the version of the Java real time because we need a more recent one. If we can choose uh, GDK uh, 1.8. Okay, now let's go on with the conversion. Project facet, convert to faceted form. And here we have to select a, a dynamic web module. Version is 3.1 and uh, JAXRS 2.0. Apply. OK. We have to create uh, the um, web point dot XML file. So you know, rest here Java EE tools generate the deployment descriptor stub. OK, here is the descriptor. Now we need the server where to deploy this project. So, file, new. Server. Class fish. Then here we have to choose the uh, folder of the class fish uh, where in, on my computer, that is also the server. This is the installation folder of glass fish. Okay. And then the uh, position on the file system of the uh, JDK.
okay this one the domain is uh, this one domain one okay without uh, password okay now let's see how to configure this project to implement restful uh, web services in the web.xml file we have to configure a servlet uh, which is the servlet uh, of jersey uh, that uh, uh, manages the, uh, the requests to the web services you can uh, copy the configuration of the servlet here from this file and paste here in the web.xml file of the project as you can see this uh, servlet whose na internal name is jersey servlet has uh, this uh, class for its implementation this is the class of the servlet of jersey then in this uh, parameter here we, we can see the name of a package where uh, we have to um, store all the classes uh, where uh, are defined the web service that will be served by this uh, servlet so we will uh, create then a package named uh, ws in the in the package uh, net dot giovanni dot rest demo then this uh, servlet is mapped here with uh, this uh, relative path uh, which is the path that the client application has to call uh, in the as it to put into the uh, URL to call the web services that are stored in these packages we can create a new package well let's create our first web service to do so we have to create a class into the WS package this will be the class where to create a method for each web service of our application the first uh, annotation that we have to use is a path the argument of this uh, annotation is uh, the um, relative path that the client application ha has to add uh, to the uh, URL to access to all the web services uh, of this uh, defined in this uh, uh, class so companies okay import as you can see, uh, this is one of the annotations of the JAX RS uh, uh, specification. Okay, let's create the method of our first web service that will be will uh, return a simple string "Hello World." So public get Hello wall public string. Okay. Now to define uh, this web service, this uh, method as a web service, we have to add first of all uh, the um, annotation that uh, specifies the, the HTTP method to call this uh, method. 
to his middle. So let's get another JAXRS annotation. Then we have to use another annotation that this produces to specify the uh, type of data that this uh, uh, method will uh, uh, return to the client application. So we can say media type dot we now we are use uh, uh, text text plan okay let's start our application so run on server Let's fish. Okay, uh, this uh, error is uh, okay because. Uh, uh, the application uh, uh, has not uh, a starting page now we can call the web service to do so we have to add uh, first of all the um, uh, WS that is uh, the um, um, path that we uh, mapped with the uh, package here this one and then the relative part of the class, the class uh, where the web service is defined here, companies. Okay. Okay. So uh, this is the uh, the string. It's a data, not a page. That uh, uh, the web service. Uh, has returned to the client uh, application. So this is our uh, first uh, RESTful uh, web service and uh, in the next uh, video we will see uh, how to create uh, a web service that uh, can get a collection of objects from a database. Thank you very much for your attention.